tell me what the heck is going on around here? Well, relax, April. It's just your ordinary, uh, time travel equal mass displacement kind of thing. Yeah, huh. like he said. Yeah. Okay, so let's get out of here. So a big topic I see when discussing the reboot of the upcoming live action Ninja Turtles movie reboot is the look of the turtles. It's probably the number one thing people want to see the creators of the movie get right. But what is right? Different people grew up on so many different versions of the turtles, all with different looks. I have my preferences, which I'll discuss, but I'd like to see down below in the comments what you guys think. So feel free to leave your opinions down below as to what you think the turtles should look like in the upcoming reboot. I feel it could really ignite some cool conversations and debate uh, down below. Now, what should the turtles look like? The Michael Bay versions are the most recent live action adaptation and those turtles I will go more in depth on in my rise and fall of the TMNT designs series I have going on here on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. But just a quick thought on those turtles is that they just kind of seemed a little too giant and the faces were missing some charm to them. It's probably the best way I can put it in a summarized version. Not very memorable. And like I said, I'll go a little bit more in depth on them in a future video. But yeah, definitely the new Turtles will have to look different than that. Now, the 1990 trilogy had the Turtles look change throughout the trilogy. In my opinion, they started off strong. The second movie was okay. The headbands looked a little cleaner, which I didn't like. I liked how dirty they looked in that first one. The faces of the turtles changed a bit, which I also didn't like very much, but it was okay. The third movie changed the look of the turtles altogether, although still in continuity with the first two movies. The first movie was the strongest of the bunch and arguably the strongest of the franchise when it comes to live action adaptations of the turtles. Now there was only one other live adaptation of the Ninja Turtles, but it came in the form of a TV series and we don't speak about it anymore. This never happened, it's universally agreed. Now, where could the reboot pull inspiration from when it comes to the look of the turtles? In my opinion, the anatomy and size of the 1990 movie Turtles would be a good place to start. They looked great, just nice details that those early turtles had looked awesome, but inspiration could be pulled from elsewhere as well. The 2003 animation Turtles had some similar aspects to the 1990 movie, but some are different as well that could be pulled for this reboot. Like the different shades of greens on the turtles Although not too noticeable in the animation and more prevalent throughout the promotional material is a good way to go with the Turtles design. This in live action would be welcomed by the fan base in my opinion. The 87 cartoon was also promoted this way and they have appeared a number of times this way in different toys and promotional material but not really in live action if you think about it. I feel like it would be something different but familiar that we haven't seen before. Now another way to pull inspiration for the look of the turtles could be from the comics. Now the look of the turtles kind of evolves as different runs of different series go on, but a few examples to pull from would be something like from the IDW comics. More recently, the turtles have been portrayed with bandages here and there, which the 2012 series kind of did as well. So it'd kind of be inspiration from them as well. Also the comics turtles have some utility pouches here and there on their belts, which is a nice touch. There have been figures that have come out that I have shown on this channel that display similar types of pouches on the belts as well. In fact, these turtles kind of represent for the most part, my ideal look of what a new live action Ninja Turtle should look like if you know they were to just want to go with something completely new that they haven't done before, which seems to be the case. I don't think they're gonna do the 1990 versions the exact same way again for a new movie. Although I know I would like to see it. I know a lot of fans would as well. This is what I would like them to look like if they're going to decide just with a, a brand new look. 
which more than likely is going to be the case. They have a little bit of everything we just spoke about, kind of like the 1990 version, but a little bit like the 2003 as well. Some additions like the bandages and the utility belts, like the comics in the 2012 TV series. I've never thought that in live action I'd want to see like the different color elbow pads and knee pads but it kind of works with this figure if done like this it would be pretty awesome and that along with the initial belts would be a nice callback to the 87 cartoon as well which a lot of fans got their first taste of the turtles on a little bit from everywhere to make the perfect tmnt cocktail would be cool to see now one final thing i see touched on a lot when it comes to the look of the turtles is the question cgi or practical people actors in suits with animatronic faces now this could get a little tricky to me this is where i feel like uh, there's very strong opinions um the 1990 movie showed that you could pull off a whole movie with practical suits but there's so much you could do with cgi as well i'm kind of conflicted when it comes to this to me i think the best answer is a little bit of both i think that you implement practical suits in some like close-up scenes and stuff and just kind of try to blend it a little bit with cg i think the toughest thing i don't think really would be the action i think the action you could get away with some cg i think the the toughest part is close-ups of like the turtles talking like their mouth and their face expressions moving i th this is where i am truly stumped whether i would like to see you know the animatronic faces talking or a really good cg uh that's where i'm a little stumped when it comes to the turtles everything else i feel like could be a, a blend of both practical and cg but that's it i mean i get asked from time to time why is the look of the turtle so important to me and i honestly don't know only thing i can say is the day that first teaser comes out for this reboot the second the turtles get shown if the reaction is lukewarm or split on the look of the turtles i feel like that'll hinder the success of the movie to some degree and will kill some of the hype which could have a ripple effect and affect the performance of the movie and we could potentially not see any sequels and there goes the turtles for the next few years and we have to wait again i think the reveal of the turtles in that first teaser has to stick the landing to get this reboot going on the right track but that's just my opinion uh, turtle fans let me know down below how do you think the turtle should look in the upcoming live action movie reboot of the teenage mutant ninja turtles would love to hear your thoughts but that's it for this quick video hope you enjoyed it if you're new to the channel and want more tmnt related content in your life that's all we talk about here old new upcoming tmnt stuff remember to hit that subscribe button also remember to follow the channel on twitter instagram and facebook i don't post much on there but it's a good way to see what's going on here on the channel from a different source so hit the channel up on all those if you want but that's it for this video i'll see you guys in a little bit with another one take care